Hi everybody, Natasha Koch here with the Van City Home Team and this week's Tuesday Van City uh, Real Estate Tips. We're going to talk about prepping your pets for the move. So you've bought your house, you're super excited, you've hired your mover, you've transferred all your utilities, you've told everybody where you're moving to, you're super excited, you've gotten your doctors, uh, you know, your new doctors in place, you know where you're going to be grocery shopping. Um, but what about your pets? So let's talk about the three tips that you can get together in advance before moving your pet. So whether it's a cat or dog, uh, they are your babies and they do not know what's going on and they weren't part of the decision making process of where you bought. So number one, take them in the car. If if you're in a habit of taking your pets with you in the car, uh, great. If your cat, if they don't like going in the car, maybe don't traumatize them. But Take them with you, do the drive to the area. Uh, if it's a dog and you wanna take them out on a leash, walk around the new neighborhood so that they become a little bit familiar, they can smell the new smells and uh, get used to where they're going to be living and walking so that you can do this a couple of times before you even move. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I just talked about you getting your doctor and you know your grocery store and your post office and all the things that you're gonna be doing in your new area. But what about your pets? Are you going to be driving them to the vet uh, that you saw before? Or are you going to need a new veterinarian? You want to get familiar with any emergency clinics in the area in case something happens. Um, and so check out uh, the reviews. Maybe talk to friends that you know that are living in the area that have pets and bring theirs to a certain vet and see if you can establish that uh, and do a meet and greet with the new vet in advance. So that way you're prepared. So that way if, you're, if, you're, uh, if your dog or cat is experiencing any stress during the move, uh, you definitely have someone to call in the process. And then number three, moving day. Um, there's going to be boxes and movers and you definitely don't want your pet to be stressed and getting shuffled around. So make arrangements for your pet for moving day. Uh, if you have a friend that could maybe take them, put them in a kennel maybe for the day just to get the pet out of the way or at the very least carve out plenty of time so that maybe you can move the animals over to the new property in advance before the movers arrive. Um, give them lots of treats and uh, and spoil them rotten because it is definitely gonna be quite traumatic for your pet. Um, often we don't think about these little things when we're moving and it just ends up, uh, you know, falling into place eventually, but uh, the pets can be pretty traumatized during the process. My dogs have moved a couple of times with me and uh, my, my little baby has gone with me many times to Mexico. And let me tell you, she hates riding in the car. And so driving to Mexico for five days is pretty traumatizing for my little dog, but she uh, knows that it's worth it when we get there, when she gets her feet in the sand. Um, but I give her tons and tons of love and treats along the way. So hopefully uh, it won't be too stressful in your move. If you would like to get some further information about moving your pets, please reach out to us at the Van City Home Team. Otherwise, good luck with your move and your fur babies. Talk to you soon.